Hi, Devin from T Equipment. Today we're going to be talking about a couple of thermal cameras, the TG267 from FLIR, and one you may not have seen before, the Hike Vision. It has a long part number, but I usually just call it the DS2TP. So, first impressions are both on the smaller side for pistol grips. Nice light units, about the same. You can see they both have similar displays, both 320 by 240, 2.4 inch displays. Just, just pointing them around, I can see that the, the FLIR MSX is a nice feature that we have on the TG267 and that overlays the visual details on top of the thermal ones. Whereas the Hike Vision is just pure thermal, the resolution is actually the same on either for the thermal image. It's 160 by 120 pixels. Uh, the sharpness on the FLIR is a little bit better and that's primarily going to be due to the better pixel pitch. So it has a 12 micron pixel pitch versus 17 on the hike vision and that's going to make the thermal image a little bit sharper. TG267 is also going to be compatible with FLIR tools so you can capture images and take them to your computer and generate reports whereas with the hike vision they're just going to be regular images so not that you couldn't but it's going to be a little more convenient with uh, the FLIR and you can also do some thermal imaging post-processing, which is always nice. As far as some other specs go, the uh, FLIR has a plus or minus 1.5 degrees Celsius accuracy, but that's only between 50 and 100 degrees C. Outside of that, it actually jumps to plus or minus 3 degrees C. On the hike vision, it's just plus or minus 2 degrees across the board. And the temperature range is also different. It's going to be negative 25 to 380 for the FLIR, again in Celsius, and negative 20 to 550 degrees C on the hike vision. So you can really get up there on the temperature with the hike vision, 1,000 degrees F. The sensitivity, or the smallest difference in temperature that the pixels can detect, is going to be 40 millikelvins on the hike vision and better than 70 millikelvins on the FLIR. So the smaller that number, uh, 40 millikelvins equates to 0 0.04 degrees C. So that gives you increased contrast in between the pixels. Um, it's no substitute for more resolution or better pixel pitch, but more sensitivity is always better. Uh, field of view. FLIR is going to have a much broader field of view. It's 57 by 44 and the hike vision is 37 by 50. So slightly narrower in the horizontal field of view on the on the hike vision, which is more interesting than anything else. It's not going to affect you very much functionally. Um, they're both rated to be two meter drop resistant. So they're they're pretty rugged. IP54. Um, the FLIR has got six different color palettes. My Hike Vision has four. Typically, I don't change color palettes, just stick with the standard iron bow that most people are familiar with. But mm. it's nice to have options. Mm. Uh, the laser. On the FLIR, you get a, a bullseye laser. So that's a, a center dot and then a circle describing the field of view at that distance. So that can be very useful to know when you need to change your distance to target to get a good temperature reading. On the hike vision, you just have a single point laser. So you know uh, where, your, where your reticle is targeted upon. But the bullseye laser does give you a much better indication of what you're actually taking a temperature of. Another thing, is going to be the the storage options. The FLIR has a four gigabyte internal memory, whereas the Hike Vision has a eight gigabyte removable SD card. So 
Uh, FLIR says their internal memory can support up to 50,000 images. Hike vision being double that, I would assume. Uh, a comparable increase, they don't give a, a number. But more importantly, you can swap out the SD card on the Hike Vision. It'll support up to 128 gigabyte card. Comes with, comes with the 8. Well, FLIR has one more feature that is going to make it stand out. And that's the fact that it supports a thermocouple. So it has a mini TC connector right on the top and a type K bead thermocouple included in the box. And that allows you to take a direct surface temperature. Now that's about it for the spec rundown. So we're gonna, we're gonna show you how this looks on this little demo box here. Okay, so here we have this little fuse box and I got my Hick Vision and FLIR side by side. You can see that the MSX, while usually useful here, is kind of making things a little, little less clear. All right, and there's that bullseye laser I was telling you about. So now I know I'm really getting the temperature in that circle. Whereas with the hike vision, I can only, <coughs> I can only use the on-screen reticle, which might not be as accurate as I would like. Now with the FLIR, if I hold down this button, get that laser <coughs> and if I pull the trigger it saves an image and the hike vision <coughs> if I hold down the trigger it shows the laser and then takes an image and I can choose to save or keep the defaults gonna be to keep it but You know, you can, you can see that the MSX adds some detail, but the Hike Vision really does a nice job. It's more of a high contrast palette. Hmm. You can see there's a lot more detail there. So there you have it. That's the FLIR TG267 and the Hike Vision DS2TP. Now, right now, the FLIR is $499, and you can find that on the T Equipment website. The Hike Vision is, I believe, $549 right now. But for your best pricing, please make sure to call us or visit us on chat, and we can provide you a formal quotation. If you have any other questions, Give us a call or email, and one of our trained thermographers will be happy to assist you to pick out the best camera for your application. Again, my name is Devin, and thanks so much for watching our video.